everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i enjoy so much listening to people you know read am i the asshole stories i love it i have full-on conversations with myself when i am watching those type of videos and i really wanted to read some stories myself but i thought that just switching kind of like content or better saying adding this type of video to my channel just wouldn't really make sense because i am beauty focused and i thought that what better way to combine reading these while i put my makeup on i have a couple of stories here i don't know how many i can do i try to find some shorter ones and yeah let's put on some makeup everything that i have on my face by the end of the video will be listed down below story number one am i the asshole for refusing to take my cheating husband back sometimes just reading the titles already makes me feel so many emotions. I, 45 female, have been with my husband, 44 male, for 25 years. Oh, that's a long time. Married for 13 of them. We have three kids, 26 female, 25 male, and 15 male. When my dad died in March of 23, I started drinking heavily. He's starting having an affair with a 22 female year old. What? Dude, he was 43, she was 20... <gasps> what long story short i got help and he got dumped now he is begging for me to come back saying he made a mistake he wants to be with me forever <laughs> you can't make this up <laughs> what while i was sitting in jail i was drinking when i found out about the affair and scratched his neck he pressed battery charges he moved that girl into our home without warning the children they woke up to find her in our home. Oh, you don't do that. Filed for the divorce and got a restraining order. I got out and got help and I'm doing amazing. Oh, that's, oh, oh, I'm so happy for her. He wants her family back. I'm still hurt and don't want that. Am I being the, no. In what world? No. Oh my God. I mean, I've seen it time and time again that people just don't take it seriously when people you know, have alcohol problems, um, you know, it is serious. I'm so glad that she got help and got better and as she's saying, is doing amazing. And the audacity of him not only having an affair, the fact that he moved that girl into the home without telling the kids. Imagine waking up and you just see a random strange woman in your home and then only wanting her back because he got dumped if he hadn't got dumped i bet my sweet butt that he would not be wanting her back and now he wants her back to be with her forever that is bs that is absolute bs no what a douche i mean he was fine with cheating on her like that for me would already be like finish line you cheated out there's the door so not only did he cheat on her he had the audacity to move that woman in and then wanting the family back now you can live with the consequences girl i'm just so happy that she's doing amazing just live your life you don't want that you don't have to get back together with him you don't you don't need him you're not the asshole how would you be no <laughs> this next one is a little bit longer so we'll see am i the asshole for refusing to lend money to my cousin who never helped me before i'm in a bit of a dilemma and would like your opinion my cousin marson recently asked me for a loan of a large sum of money that he needs for an investment i decided to refuse his request and here's why in the past marson has always expected me to be generous with my resources and share what I have. No one is entitled to your finances and what you have, that's my opinion. For example, a few years ago I was going through a serious financial difficulty and asked Marson for a small loan to get through a rough patch. He turned me down saying he has his own expenses and couldn't afford to help. 
Since then, I found myself in need of financial assistance several times, whether it was for buying a car or renovating my home, but every time I reached out, Marson had excuses and never came through. Now that Marson is in a tight spot and needs money for an investment, he has asked me for a substantial loan. I feel it's only fair that I don't have to share my resources with someone who has never been willing to support me in return. Marson is now angry and calling me greedy and selfish saying I should be more helpful because he always expected me to share. Do what? So am I in the wrong for refusing to lend him the money considering his past behavior and lack of support for me? Did I overreact in the situation? No, I don't think so. Um, I feel like for me, the biggest difference is that he wants the money for an investment. He never helped and I was expecting the poster to help. I mean, I don't know what he wants to invest in and if it's potentially like, I don't know, it just sounds like I need your money so I can do an investment, but I didn't help you out when you hadn't really means to live. Like, I just don't think, no. So I don't think you're in the wrong. Again, I don't think that you owe anyone any money. It doesn't matter if it's family, if it's friends. No one is entitled to your finances, um, especially when they have not helped you in a difficult time in your life and now they expect you to lend them money so that they can make an investment. That is just super untitled in my opinion. Next story. Am I the asshole for not giving up my seat on my flight? I can already sense my opinion. <laughs> so I just got on my flight and a woman and her small daughter were in my seat. So the kid was in the window, which is my seat, and the aisle was open. And she refused to give me my seat. Oh no, no, you don't do that. I have a child around the same age and if I'm traveling with my kid, I'm making my seat selections intentionally. That's what you should do. That is what everyone should do. I'm not going to rely on the kindness of strangers. Exactly. If there is an option to choose the seed, please use it. I really do not like someone forcing me to do something without the courtesy of even asking. I told her it was my seed and she ignored me, then told me sit in the aisle, then asked to check my ticket knowing it was my seat. I was like, okay, you want to make it an unpleasant flight, that's on you. <laughs> I had the flight attendant come to move them. I feel bad for the child, but you know what? She went about it so disrespectfully. If someone, especially when someone has paid for their seat, you are not, even if it was a free seat to choose, you are not entitled to just take the seat. Just please don't be like this when you're flying or transportation of any kind of way where you have to choose your seat. It's just so disrespectful. It's my seat. That's it, especially if I pay for it. Like there are so many reasons why someone would want to sit on the aisle side or why some people would want the window side. Everyone has their reasons and you you chose that seat, that's it. What more of a reason do we need? So you're not the asshole in my opinion. Next story. Am I the asshole for wanting to break up with my girlfriend after discovering she cheated even though she says it was just a mistake? Oh, another good one of these. Mm. I, 24 male, have been in a relationship with my girlfriend, 22 female, for the past two years. We've had our ups and downs like any other couple, but overall I thought we were solid. Recently, I found out that she cheated on me. When I confronted her, she broke down and admitted to it, but kept insisting that it was just a mistake and that it meant nothing. Really? It didn't mean nothing. And in that moment, in, in the moment, did it mean nothing? She swears it was a one-time thing, a moment of weakness. Oh, shut up. No, no, shut. No, I can't. When people are like, moment of weakness. Oh my God, <laughs> please. <laughs> and that she regrets it deeply. Does she? Does she? Because if she did, wouldn't she have talked to you about that? I mean, you found out, so. The math ain't mathing over here. She's been begging me to forgive her and give her another chance. Oh gosh, please don't. 
Dun, dun, dun. I love her and the thought of losing her hurts, but I'm also struggling to move past the betrayal. It's all I can think about and I feel like it's tainting everything we had. Oh, I bet it does. My trust is shattered and I don't know if I can ever look at her the same way again. I'm torn between my love for her and the pain I'm feeling. Am I the asshole for wanting to end things over this even though she insists it was a one-time mistake? Oh... I can only imagine how much that hurts or to have feelings for that person still um, but at the same time being so hurt I think it is only more hurtful if you stay in a relationship like this because especially like they said you know they keep thinking about it and they can't look at her the same way i feel like it just says everything that you need to hear knowing that you can't trust them anymore is just i don't see it as a mistake i feel like you know it's not like oops i slipped and i fell on top of someone else no it was a conscious decision in that moment so i don't believe in this entire like it was a mistake type of thing no you dodged a bullet honestly please get out it's a sign that this is not healthy and if she was willing to break your trust and betray you once it's not gonna hold her back from doing it again. Briefly gonna be doing my eyeliner off camera because I'm just taking way too long reading these and doing my makeup, so I'll be back with my eyeliner done. Okay, last story. While I do my brows and finish with my lips. The title is my boyfriend of two years just refollowed his ex. That is sounding already so good. Guys, I need some advice slash opinions. My boyfriend of almost two years has just suddenly refollowed his ex after he saw them at his work the other day and now she's following him back. Following this, he's deleted all pictures of himself flexing and posing at the gym. He's a gym rat and often posts his progress. He's also changed his bio from building a body only my name can touch. Oh, like the name of the poster, building a body only, let's say, Mabu can touch to just my name. Is this suspicious behavior? Should I be worried? Okay, so this isn't a typical am I the asshole story, it's just like wanting advice. The thing that for me is kind of like weird is almost like with so many other stories, people like to flaunt their bodies and maybe try and impress their ex with looking a certain way and posting gym photos. So it's kind of, for me, this was unexpected that he deleted those pictures of himself flexing and posing at the gym. That was just unexpected for me. I don't know why. I feel like usually it's the other way around. You try to impress that person. Aside from that and the entire caption changing thing, I just would not like it if my boyfriend would follow an ex. I just don't think it's very respectful. Like you can bump into people, have like a little small talk, friendly conversation, just be like, hey, how's it going? Bye. Depending on how you ended things. Obviously if things were ugly, you wouldn't be all friendly and like, oh my god, how are you doing? Like I would not care, I would look that way. But I just don't know why it didn't just stop there because it's just a little bit disrespectful towards your girlfriend. And I would totally just speak to him. Just speak to him. Communication is the most important thing in a relationship. And yes, maybe he shouldn't have followed her and her following him back is maybe making you a little nervous. Just talk to him ask him or ask him why and what is up there just like tell him you're uncomfortable because it's his ex i feel like it can't hurt to just let him know your feelings and i feel like depending on how he reacts it's going to tell you everything it's going to tell you if you truly have to be scared or it just probably will help you to know if he is a potential ass or if he's just a little goofy and didn't think things through. Um, so yeah, just speak to him. I definitely don't like when people go follow their exes. I just don't understand. I have always thought that it was disrespectful towards the current partner to rekindle things almost or like get in contact again at least he didn't completely delete her name from the bio but still 
No. So yeah, I would just talk to him. It'll just help you to understand the situation better and potentially get out of there. <laughs> okay, I finally finished my makeup, which also means we finished reading these stories. Jesus. It was kind of difficult to navigate both at the same time, but I thought it was fun. I hope that you also thought it was fun. Let me know if you liked it or not, because if you did like it, I could maybe do this in the future again. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me, relaxing. Um, maybe this was something that you were able to put on as you get ready or like as you're doing just stuff. If you did enjoy, give me a thumbs up and I really hope to see you in my next video and until then, please take care.